everybody, it is Rachel here with a quick cooking vlog on how to make um, mashed faux potatoes out of cauliflower. Um, as you can see here, I have broken down a whole entire head of cauliflower because I'm going to make a bunch to have extras. And all I did was I used a knife to help cut that up and then I would, you know, take the big chunks and just break them apart. You know, so you get moderately sized pieces, you know. Um, you don't want them too big. But, you know, you want them to be, you know, that's about right. So once you have that, we also have a pot of boiling water. And it has to be boiling first. And um, as you can see, mine's boiling a lot. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the cauliflower into the pot. And be very careful because it's going to be hot. Everybody is inside, as you can see, and we are now going to be turning up. Let me turn that back up a little bit. We're now going to be timing, and we're going to let these cook for seven minutes in the boiling water. Now, don't turn the water down or anything. It may, while it's boiling, bubble up and get really hot, but um, let it cook for seven minutes, and then I will show you what to do next. Alrighty, our timer has gone off and so I've turned off the heat. We're going to take our cauliflower and you want to drain it. Ooh, so steamy. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, once you let it get thoroughly drained, um, it suggests that you dry this off in between uh, several layers of paper towels which I shall do and then we shall come back okay now you can do this in a blender um, I'm gonna do it in my food processor though because it's new and I like it um, so what you want to do is ugh, I have my cauliflower that I've patted dry with paper towels well drier just to get some of the moisture out of it I'm gonna throw all that in there, just like that. And then I'm gonna add about maybe an ounce and a half of cream cheese that I've just kind of cubed up a little bit so it's a little easier to mix around. Get all that in there. Okay. And then we're gonna do, I'm doing a teaspoon of garlic powder. I think they'll have a nice little flavor half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper and we're just gonna put in a wee little bit of butter just so it's a little creamy oops good enough okie dokie get in there butter lid goes on and we're just gonna run this until it is thoroughly mixed up I'm going to mix this around a little bit because I've got some guys up on the top that haven't gotten mixed up yet. And we'll go one more time. Okie dokie. And as you can see, it looks very creamy in texture. And now I'm going to taste test. very yummy and of course you know these are just my way of mixing it up mm. you can adjust it you can you know add things in take things out if you don't like garlic don't put garlic in if you want to put chives in it put chives in it um but it's really good and I think for what it is it's, it's you know it's a pretty darn good 
substitute to um, mashed potato. So, hope you guys like this. And if you try it, let me know. Because it's really yummy. And it's just vegetable. So, it's really good for you. Um, hope to be making more videos soon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.